okay. Um, here's a sketch that I made for a motorcycle temp sensor warning light. From the factory, it had a 240 degree switch that closed, and at 240 degrees, things are getting pretty hot. You're probably warping heads and cracking cylinders and all that good stuff. So, actually, my switch didn't work right. It was grounded out all the time. Kawasaki said 90 bucks for a new one. So I looked in my options, found an analog sensor, and I did some temperature uh, comparisons as far as resistance at temperature, stuck it in the oven, let it bake for about 10 minutes, and then switch it, then measure it, and then switch it to a higher temp, and then bake another 10 minutes, and then measure it. So I came up with a table of values uh, and some threshold points. And with that, I was able to uh, put together a, a sketch here on the Arduino. Um, and I'll post a link to the sketch in my uh, comments. But uh, the way it works is as the engine warms up, uh, the resistance is going to come down. And we're watching the voltage on the temperature sensor. Uh, when you first start the engine, it's going to go through a startup, test the LEDs. The LEDs will go out after each test, showing that it's running the sketch OK. And then uh, after it starts reading the analog sensor, then it's going to either illuminate the blue LED for a cold engine temperature or the red LED for an overheat situation. If I wanted to get fancy, I could use one of these uh, little guys here which is an RGB LED and I haven't quite figured out how to write everything in the coding so that I could use all the colors of the RGB I could go with blue uh, for cold green or running temp and then maybe an amber to let it let it you know that your engine's starting to get a little on the warm side and then red for an overheat condition um, I'm sure it could be done and without a ton of uh, code, you probably could do it too. I'm not an expert on this, so I'll leave that up to the experts, or maybe I'll work on it as time permits me. Yes, this is my kitchen table. My wife is out of town. This is what happens when she leaves. The mad scientist goes to work. All right, I have an Arduino Nano that I've loaded my code to. If you look at the end of it, there is a 5-volt regulator. I'm using a 12-volt in. Uh, and when it powers up, it goes through the self-test, and it powers up the LEDs. As you can see, the red one's illuminated now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the reset switch on here, which is going to happen every time you key on. And then you can watch and see what the LEDs do. Blue test, red test. Okay, and then it goes into the sketch. Right now, the voltage in the sketch... I'll show you my meter. We're at uh, 1.38 volts. And I've got it wired up to a potentiometer. So I can vary that voltage just to show you what the output does. Um, by raising the voltage above the threshold, red LED will go out. Which there. Um, went over into the higher voltage and now the blue one's on for cold which we are sitting at 4.74 there's a Goldilocks zone in between there I can just hit it right there oops right there um, neither LED is on and that would be your normal operating temperature so if anybody's interested in using the sketch or modifying it, help yourself, and I'll post it up, a link to it, and then you can do whatever you want with it.